So what we're doing today is February the 2nd. And we decided we're gonna keep some of our dead citrus and we're gonna do some grafting. So we're gonna do that later on when the springtime comes. We're gonna, we never did it before. So we're gonna look at some YouTube videos and, and start grafting some uh, fruit cocktail trees. This is one of the ones that has, has grown a little slower. You can see way down. I have some over there. As you can see, that one uh, has grown much more. So I'm going to, I think that one is a little bit healthier. So this one we're going to unpack. Well, we're going to take it out and pot this Fuyu persimmon that we got. Our neighbor actually has two of these. But there's nothing like having your own. And Bev's love this tree. Uh, after, after this tree, I think the only other tree that I want, that I like, is a tangerine that we don't have. So we're gonna take this one out. We still gonna <laughs> pot that. We're gonna <laughs> pot that and uh, probably bring it back to Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't want to do it to him, but man, I can't take all those losses like that. They give us a one year guarantee. So, they tree didn't make a whole year. So, they can get that tree back. So, this food you persimmon, we already basically the ground is already prepared. You can see all the amendments that we had in it. So all we're doing is basically taking, taking that one out. And we're gonna put this baby back in. And it was about half and half. We did have some uh, manure. Uh, nothing major. And we just went back with the native soil. How deep you go and do that? Uh, not, not really too deep. I kind of like use the pot. So now I can start bringing the soil level back up. And all I do is just backfill like everybody else. Until I get to the height that I want. Maybe just a little bit more because it does get wet a lot, it rains a lot, so keep it a little bit higher for me. I like to keep the trees a little bit higher than the ground, I think that's perfect. Yeah, and they got soil in it, so we're gonna turn it upside down, turn it back over, and put the rest of this old dirt back in. Let's try it. Usually I soak the uh the, tree. the trees like the past before but I didn't do it this time. Ned Farmer did say that they had these black roots. Never saw a tree with these roots like black like this. They got big ones too. Yeah. Like, I really don't know if I should look like it's a little tangled. Root bound a little bit. Yeah. Some of that loosened up. Hopefully, I didn't mess it up. He did say that this is like a real finicky, rooty tree, but hope that's good enough. Keep it in the center. Put the dirt back in. We're just gonna back to it. Get my worms back in. Get my dirt back in. Out 
get some of these. Don't want the weeds. I can turn that upside down. Look at that. Look at the worm. Worms are a little still, a little stiff right now. They barely want to move. But I'll help them out. Basically, break off that, get rid of that. Keep the dirt, lose the weeds. Bring all that dirt back and then we'll take the rest of the dirt and we'll use that to pop that citrus so we can take it back to Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's that tree. I don't want that tree. <laughs> That's not the tree that you bought, huh? No, I didn't buy that. I bought a living tree. I bought a tree that wanted to grow. I don't know where they got that thing from. But but we might. Uh depends on what it does when the spring starts off. We may uh we may keep it. But for the most part, I probably bring it back and get me a nice tree that we want, either tangerine or another Satsuma. like a blood orange or satsuma. And we'll put it under our trees at the back. I want to get another just container citrus garden type thing growing under the oak tree. It's something that I read about. I've been reading about. And, and I do have one tree that I, I've left out the whole winter. No wrapping, no covering. And it's, it's looking real healthy. So we'll share that one with y'all too. And we yeah. had pick up fruit from it already. Yeah, whoa, yeah. It's a uh, red navel. And my kids. I gotta go. My kids done turned the whole tent. Back. <laughs> <laughs> <My goodness. laughs> Thank y'all for watching. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching Louisiana Gardening Family and grow, grow, grow. We out. <laughs>